Hello guys, welcome to another Android Studio development tutorial. My name is Law Cindy. So in this video, we'll be looking at how to add um, a background music or sound to your Android um, animation. Um, that's your splash screen. And um, you have a splash screen, an um, animated splash screen that you want to show on your application. And you also want to go ahead and add some background music to that um, splash screen. So I'm going to show you how to do it. I already did a video on how to um, do Android um, splash screen animation so you can check it out but I think I'm just gonna do everything afresh in this video and also on how to add the um, background music as well so um, the first thing you're going to do is to create a new Android Studio project I already did that um, so what I'm gonna do here is to change this um, constraint layout I'm gonna change it to I'm gonna use a relative layout here So we need a relative layout for this one. I'm gonna change this one too as well. Okay. Uh, so here I wanna um, get rid of this text view. Instead I wanna use an image view. Uh, so I'm going to use um I'm gonna use rough content and rough content and just see how it goes. So I'm gonna set um center vertical. Um, true, I can use the center in parent. Center in parent, true. So now I'm going to add the image. Uh, so here it will be. I just call my source. So I already have an image here called um, Luke the PNG. So what you do, just go ahead and take an, ima an image and put it within this um, drawable folder. So I have an image uh, called Luke. So this is it here. So this is my image here. All right, so I'm gonna um, call them Android Dribble Look. Okay, so it looks too big um, for this wrap content. So instead of what I'm gonna do, I'm going to reduce uh, the width and height. I'm still too big, and um, this is 300. See, okay, it looks good. All right, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. Um, so here is just a simple splash screen I want to do. It. So this could be um the your your company's logo or something. So I'm just using my own picture there for this demonstration. So what we'll do next time um, is to switch over to the main activity where we'll um, add uh, uh, the logic um, for for that. Yeah. So the first thing we we'll do is to um let's get um, the music that we want to use so we need to add the music up um, to what um to this um, project so the first thing we'll do right click on this rs folder and right click on it and go to new folder and so we want to get this um raw resource folder so it's this raw resource folder that we want to add to the projects so we'll click on it so we're not going to change the folder location. We're just going to leave it as it is. And I'll just say finish. Yeah. So it's going to create um, that folder for us in a bit. I guess so saying successfully. So I think the folder is created um, somewhere. I'll just close this. Um, let's see. So we have a folder here, as you can see. So this is a folder. So what we can do now is to get that music that we want to use and as the background music and put within this folder. So it has to be within this raw folder. And so exactly as I've done it. Here. So I'm gonna get um, grab that music here. So I'll just go ahead and copy this uh, music file right here and just paste it within, uh, put it within our raw folder. So just copy this. And so we'll come right here with um, this raw folder and just paste it there. So I want to rename this um, file name for simplicity purpose. So I'll just call this um, Fireboy and um, MP3. Yeah. All right. So next we'll begin to add uh, uh, the codes for this one. And the first thing I want to do here, uh, I'm just going to call. I'm just going to call my image view.
make sure I'm going to call my animation which I, which I have to create I'm here all right so um, I'm also going to create another folder here so um, the folder will be um, not font resource now um, I'm just going to use an Android resource directory here. So for the directory name, I'm going to use a name here. Um, for resource type, um, it's going to be um, a name. So let's leave it at that. So right here, I'm going to create um, um, a new animation resource um, file. Right-click on it. Um, and so I'm going to call this one Zoom. Yeah, because of course I want to do a um, zoom in and animation. Yeah, so I'm going to call that zoom. So here within this um, um, zoom here, I'm going to have have scale. So, so I'm gonna have you first. I'm gonna set um, um Android duration. Okay, for duration, um, that's that's um how long um the animation should last. Um, so maybe I'm going to use um so that we can see um a good example of the um, background music. I'm gonna use 15 seconds. Um, so. Is fifteen thousand here, and um, for so I'm going to have an um, Android pivot Y, and um, for pivot Y I'm going to set it to fifty percent. I'm um, Android pivot X. I'm going to set that to fifty percent as well. And um, for uh, um from X scale, from X scale I'm going to set it to one. Um. From Y scale, I'm going to set from Y scale to, um, oops, maybe I should use three here. I use three here. And then to Y scale, this should be one. Um, X scale, this should be one as well. Okay, so this is it um, for this um, zoom animation file here. So I've created this. So we'll now switch back to our main uh, activity. Here, I'm beginning to call um, the codes. So right here, next, um, what I want to do here is to call my media player because I'm using a media player. So I'm going to call a uh, media and player right here. So this will be media player. I'm going to create. So here I can use um, get application context, so I can use the uh, main activity dot this. Uh. So here I'm gonna call r dot raw, um, that should be Fireboy, so you can see the name is being picked here. So that actually shows that you're doing the correct thing. Yeah, I'm gonna just break this so that you can see. All right. So what I want to do here now is to play this. Um, music so when the, when the um, application loads the music starts playing in the background so I want to call this variable media player um, dot start and so the music is playing now so I'm going to um, find this in, um, views by ID so here I need to give this an ID so I'll just give this a look okay so I'll switch back here so what I'll do here is to find an um, image view cause find view by ID this we are ID that um, Luke and so for the anima animation um, I'm gonna call animation here that should be I'll have um, animation details uh, load animation so I'm going to pass um, get application context right here. I'm going to pass R a name. 
it zoom so there we have it too so everything is in order so what I'll do next is to add that animation to um, our image so what we'll do have um, let's give this a little space so have image view and let's start animation so we'll pass um, animation here so I'm going to set um, animation listener next so I'm going to have animation set animation listener so this will take a new animation uh, so I'm just going to have this auto complete Enough for me so we have um, um you can see um several methods here when the animation starts when it ends um when it's on repeats so what i would just want to concern myself with because i want the, um, this animation to just run once because it's a splash screen um so when the animation ends so that's what i'm concerned with um so i want to add an intent here um i think i need to create a new file for this here just something basic um, So I'll, I'll just create layout first, so I'll just new. I'll just call this welcome. Okay. Like so I'm just gonna add a, a text view here. Wrap content, wrap content, and text. It's called this welcome. And for text size, I'm just going to increase the size a little. So I'm just going to give this 30 SP. Um, do I want it to be at the center? Let's set gravity and set center horizontal. I already said the same. Alright. All right. So if I want it to be, um, or maybe I'll just, I want it to be um, just right in the middle. I'll just switch to, let me switch to a uh, relative layout here. Since the reason I'm this gravity right here, I'm just going to do center and parent true. Okay, so all right. So next time, I'm just gonna create um, an activity too. Here, yeah, just I'm just right click new on Java class. So we'll just call this one welcome. Um, in uh, this should be within here. All right, so. All right, so welcome, I'm extend. So I'm create save instant state. That's not what I wanted to add. Um, okay. So I'm gonna set um, our content view. So welcome. All right. So that uh, it needs to be added to the manifest anyway. So let's see. I just right click here. Just click it. So just add activity to manifest. So automatically add it for you. Otherwise, you have to go add it yourself manually. All right. So here, I um, want to call um, get application context and to where we want it to go. That's um, welcome. Um, the class. So we need to start activity and um, pass intent. And so what we can do, we can do finish. Um, so it doesn't again. Then we'll stop the music. Otherwise, the music would still um, continue to play even if it moves to um, another activity. So we'll just see uh, media player. Let's stop. Let's just stop. Okay. So hopefully this should be. It. Um, so we're just going to test it and see um, how it works.
So the application I've successfully installed, so let's go ahead and run it and see how it works out. So that's it guys for this um, tutorial on adding background music to your animated um, splash screen application. So the, if you can notice the background music was not too clear, I think that has to solely with the emulator um, performance. So I don't think that should be an issue on a real device. Um, so you can go ahead and test it on a real device and see how it works out. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to get more exciting content like this.